Hey guys, Jason here, and you guys asked for a video about root access on Android. So today, we're going to be talking about what root even is, its pros and cons, plus how you can root your Android device. Before we can talk about the pros and cons of root, we first need to understand what root actually is. So with root access on Android, you gain full access and privileges on your device, meaning that information and files that were locked by your device manufacturer are now open for modification and tweaking. In other words, your device manufacturer intended for certain settings, apps, information, and files on your device to be locked in order to prevent your average dumb consumer that doesn't know what he's doing from screwing slash blowing up his device. However, with just a little research and time, we nerds can unlock or root our devices so we can put the power of full access to our system to a good use. So this all sounds great, but you're probably thinking right now, why would I even want super user access anyway? While I couldn't possibly list all the advantages in one video, because that would take hours, I'll name just a few. Root access can allow you to remove pre-installed apps from your device to free up space and improve performance, overclock your CPU for performance improvements, allow you to back up not only an app but also its data, install unofficial versions of Android to freshen up your device, and a bunch more. With that being said, there are some disadvantages to root access as well. Like I mentioned earlier, you can totally screw up your device by not wielding the power of root access properly, and even worse, you can break your device if you mess up in the rooting process. Breaking a device is essentially the point of no return when it comes to Android, because if your device is bricked, it is completely and permanently dead. And while breaking a device is really rare nowadays, it should still serve as a precaution to be careful during the rooting process. Lastly, you will most certainly void your warranty if you root your device. This isn't much of a problem for most people, as chances are your manufacturer's warranty doesn't offer very much at all. But either way, if you break your device or somehow damage your device by improperly using root privileges, your manufacturer is not going to fix your device for you. So now that we know what root is and have the pros and cons out of the way, the last thing we need to talk about is how to actually root your device. This is kind of a hard thing to talk about, because each individual device will require a unique rooting method. However, if you'd like to find rooting instructions for your specific device, try searching on Google for root plus the name of your device, and you should be able to find some decently detailed and easy to follow instructions. However, there is one method that I've personally used to root multiple devices, and this has been using Kingroot. Kingroot does seem kind of sketchy, and I'm not going to deny that fact, but the truth is, Kingroot will be able to root almost any Android device with ease. And after I root any device using Kingroot, I always install a separate application called SuperSUMe, which will remove Kingroot from your system while retaining root access. I put links to download Kingroot and SuperSUMe in the video description below, so feel free to check those out. Besides that, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and share this video. Please subscribe to Arium TV if you haven't already, follow me over on Instagram or Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video.